seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Oh, this you crazy mother. If you're here, you found us. <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> on the old YouTubes. I'm Captain Eric Hasty, and this is... John King. And uh, this is Weeby Tailing. Uh, for some of you, this might be the very first time you've seen this show, so uh, we try to make fishing um, fun. fun, funner, funny, funnier and funniest. entertaining. What else do we do, John? entertaining est. We, we try to entertain as much as possible. Sometimes it's a little over the top. Sometimes it's a little lackluster, but we try. We try, 110%. <laughs> we give away a lot of prizes. We do that, too. We do, and we've got uh, a lot of tailors. We do. A lot of tailors. Now, we're hoping we carry those tailors over. So we have done, I don't know what, almost the last three years, we've done 165 episodes on Facebook, well, on Facebook Live. That's a lot. We decided that uh, we were trying, it was time to make a change, and we made the transition to come over to uh, YouTube. So this is our very first episode on YouTube. So that's uh, that's pretty neat. Is so this, far, everything this, seems to be working. Is this like a YouTube live, like a Facebook live, pretty much the same thing, or it should it should be identical? Identical. Yeah, should nice. be. I mean, other than on YouTube, we can look better and clearer because we can do 1080p. <laughs> so we should look even better now. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Uh, tell them to take that back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell them to take that back. Yep. <laughs> so, as usual, we're shooting in beautiful downtown Inglis inside Captain's Cove Outfitters here, um, local uh, tackle shop. Uh, we've been doing business with them for years. Yep, the trolling plugs are gone, John. <laughs> what the heck the, happened here? Well, well, the trolling plugs are gone, and it's uh, trout time. I'm depressed. And, and, and saying that, We've got Captain Mario with us tonight. He's going to talk about some trout. That's going to be uh, entertaining. Yeah, it will be 100%. He is, uh, he is in tune with those trout. He's, he's he knows how to uh, he knows how to find them. He knows how to find them. You know, when trout. nobody else can find trout, yep. Mario knows big where trout <laughs> and the big ones. He's putting me on my biggest trout over here. Really, I cannot tell a lie. That that 18 incher you had. Yep. Nice. No, it was bigger than 18. <laughs> we lost a couple that day that were huge. There we go. Well, like I said, if this is your first time seeing the show, we've got uh, segments in the show. We've got Spotted By, where we uh, basically go through and uh, hound your Facebook page, and we find pictures of you that you've posted with fish, and we put them out for everybody to see. Uh, we do the weekend fishing, where we show pictures of what I've done on charters and what John has done, you know, just normally on the weekend fishing. And, uh, and then we end up giving away lots of prizes. And so they tonight won't. is a big prize night. Yes, it is. So they won't be Facebook famous anymore now. They're going to be YouTube famous when you find their well, picture. I, well, I think I'm still going to have to scope them out on Facebook. Ah. Yeah, oh, I'm still, I'm still going to have to find Yeah, I'm still going to okay. have to. So Facebook isn't gone. We're just not yep. broadcasting on it. Gotcha. Anymore. So, gotcha. yeah. Still looking. So, John, let, let's kind of. Still let's, sniping. Let's get into this and see if we even got anybody watching. Because, uh, you know, if we're not broadcasting to anybody, this might be a hard show. So let's All see. All right, let's go home. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, I see Bonnie Bell. I can only assume that that is uh, Bonnie with State Farm is on. And again, we've been doing this for years now on Facebook, so we got everybody's name on there and everything. So the name might not appear, you know, so we might have to relearn everybody, John. This, wow. You know, we are going to have learning curves. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is all <laughs> yeah. brand new. There we go. I see Safe Floor Florida is on. So that's the same thing as it was on Facebook. There's Chris Gabner. Same thing. Jessica's on there. Uh, Casey's on there. So, I mean, yeah, a lot of these are coming right well, through. Here's, so. here's one that says the bearded ones. That's one we're going to have to learn, I think. The bearded ones? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Just, just send, <laughs> we know Jacinda, and there's a Seraphini. We know them and we Dale. Know, definitely know the Seraphines. Yeah. Dale and Ashley are there. Denise. And Doug, Doug has his regular name. 
<laughs> so, like I said, <laughs> this is the first. Doug Bell Bell. This is the first. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we're looking at this, so we yeah, really yeah. didn't know we're what learning. to expect. Yep. So, and so Mario's it's cool. still right here as Mario. Well, Mario's right here as yeah. Mario, but, but well, we don't know what's going to happen when yeah. he comes on. Could it all change? <laughs> I see uh, Adrian's on. There, like you said, Doug was on. Um, there's LD. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, see, like FV and LD, and yeah, see, these are different. There, Michelle Van is the same. There, there's something in a totally different language here. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what that uh, is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see, that's YouTube way crazy. It, it looked like Russian, but oh, I don't know. Russian. Yeah, it, Yo. We may be getting hacked as uh -oh, we speak. Uh oh, <laughs> that can't be good. <laughs> and once he figures out what he hacks, he'll be like, I don't want that anymore. There he'll be hack us. I see to Tony's on. Frost, Frost found it. Yep. All right. So Frost, there and, we go. Frost and his wife are the same. They yeah. haven't changed their names on on YouTube so that's cool yeah. so we we managed to uh, we managed to find a few a couple the the, the crossovers John. yep the crossover the crossover people so if you want to uh, find this in the future John you're on the right page go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then click that notification bell so you'll be aware of when we go it's Wednesday night at seven o'clock every night it worked because I did but it. it's gonna give you an update or it's gonna give you a little ring a ding and you're gonna go oh yeah they're on you know yeah. so you'll be able to see it yeah <laughs> it, it, it does work. Why do I look like a Oompa Loompa? Um, I did adjust the filters a little bit. We looked oh. washed out. Oh. May, maybe oh. we're really, really, maybe I'll have to adjust that on the maybe next Maybe I'm one. washed in. Learning curves. Learning curves, huh? <laughs> Tyler said he made it. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah. Tyler's on there. All right, John. So, uh, again, first episode on YouTube, just a little bit about ourselves. Um, I am a local charter captain here in the Crystal River, Yankeetown, Inglis area. Uh, I run uh, Shasty McNasty Fishing Charters, uh, mostly out of the plantation on Crystal River. Um, you ever want to go fishing, give me a call, 352-220-3206. Been a charter captain in this area probably almost working on five years now and um, been fishing all my life. All your life? Most of it. I got pictures of me down at Sanibel in a diaper holding a fishing rod, so I mean, you know. It's pretty this, young. This, if you're in, <laughs> that or you wore a diaper to you were pretty old. I don't know which one was it. I don't know. It might be time for diapers again, John. Uh, <laughs> we're getting up there. <laughs> it does come back around. I it hear does. It does. That uh, can't be good. Oh, yeah. man. If I could only get my kids to change my diapers. Yeah. You see yeah. Hey, kid, out. come here. What, Daddy? Can you change my diaper? There no, Daddy. <laughs> now, um, John, my partner in crime here, you're, you're obviously a very – avid fisherman you are not a captain nope this is something you choose not to do i choose not to be a captain <laughs> because go. i want to catch the fish there you go yep see <laughs> that's that's just the way i am see i'm i'm tripolar yep tripolar yes yeah i added one yeah, yeah. so yeah. Wow. the other day by was not enough now i'm trying yep hey because i started the, i started today's out times fishing you can be was, whatever you want to be but i started out fishing when i was three <laughs> There you for go. bass and uh i've been fishing my whole life i just started out at pete's pier and on the farm walked pond to pond to pond to pond to pond i walked for miles every day was it golden pond uh no live looks good <laughs> yep i had a blast catching no. bass and then then i found salt water one guy took me he's like hey you want to go catch some trout i said what are those he took me out in his bass boat and i caught some trout and i was hooked boy i i, that, I never looked back i never went bass fishing again it, it's not hard to make that transition. No, when, it was you know, easy. If, if you've always freshwater fished, which yep. is great, don't get me wrong. Oh, no, but I'm, not, I'm not, not saying it wasn't. I did it for 20 years. It's not hard to make that yep. transition when you oh. want to cut it loose yep. and go, okay, hey, look. I caught uh, a shark I, I went day. salt fish, saltwater fishing, yeah. and it's like, whoa, wait a minute. I caught like <laughs> seven species drag. of fish. <laughs> no, it was just the species. Yep. I mean, I go to the pond, I know what I'm going to catch, a bass or a brim or a yep. catfish. I mean, and don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the, I did that for 20 straight years every day. Yeah. I fished well, every day. So, again, if this is your first time watching, thanks for checking us out. Uh, we will be doing this live every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock right here on the Weeby Tailing channel. Um, John, let's kind of get into it here. What do you think? Let's go. Let's do this. All right. So this Thursday night, coming up here in Yankee Town, Florida, at the Blackwater Bar and Grill, it's time for the Blackwater Fishing Club. Yeah. It good is, times. Good it people. Is, it is. Good so food. If, if you were anywhere in the area and uh, thinking about joining a club that is very social based, yep. 
has a little bit, you know, they, they, they fish and they talk about fishing, but it's really a good group of people getting together and having a good time. We're like a motorcycle club without any motorcycles. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> we got boats. <laughs> so uh, this Thursday night, upstairs at the Blackwater, meeting starts at 7 o'clock. Great people. Uh, a tournament always follows. Saturday. The Saturday of, and uh, we're talking about cheap to join. Cheap to join. Cheap for the tournaments. It's just, it's fun. A big party at the end of the year for all of our members. It is. We've got and, a bunch of members. And that is coming up in February. And so I think know what? currently. All these people are cool because they all fish. They are. Yeah. We currently had a hundred and almost 50 members, yeah, I think. A lot. You know, So that's That's, that's, that's amazing nice. for a small town of, of uh, what is there? How for, many town? In for the, us right here in the, in, the, in the heart of Yankee, yeah, uh, in the lot. heart of Yankee town, the heart of the nature coast right yep. here. We're kind of in the middle. That's right. You know, so that's, that's, yep. that's not, not too bad. Oh, yeah. So, John, as you're well aware, we're doing some uh, super-duper reverse Abida secret testing of one of our sponsors, uh, Jim's Jigs. Um, we're going to have you some results on an episode coming up here shortly, but we've been uh, trying out Jim's new jigs, and uh, he's given us jigs in the past that have been very reliable, have caught many, 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 many fish on. Yeah. But there's a new style. There's a new style. And we're, we're testing it out right now, so oh. we're looking very forward to that. Now... As this is our first time on YouTube, um, you might have saw in the beginning if it popped up that there's paid promotion or something like that in this. We're not really paid at all to do this show, but we do have sponsors, and they give us goodies so to give to you guys. <laughs> yeah, so I guess <laughs> it, it did say if you take any compensation yeah. that you had to put that up there, and I guess receiving goods to give away to you, our tailors, we had to put that up there. So that that's why that's up there. Um, when you, you know, receive these and, to and give to tailors, then you got to you say go. you receive stuff. So in tonight's prize, when we give away, if you guys are paying attention, um, Jim's Jigs. Yeah. You're going to get to sample that. some of the new uh, uh, jigs as well. Ooh, so we're, we're giving nice away a packet boy. of 10. So uh, mm -hmm. very, very excited about that. You know, so, so, so far, I, I'm, I'm kind of happy. I was expecting more, John, of problems and issues Shh. and i know i know i know Shh. but but everything's going so good it could all end in one flash yep yep so a youtube flash so i'm looking at uh hey mr jeffrey got on here way yep. to go jeff good to see you buddy uh ken's on laura's on uh let's see chris says all right so last week our last episode on facebook we talked about uh there towards the end of the show um, Coast Guard had reported a boat missing with uh, with two anglers missing. They found well. one. Well, yeah. So um, the the boat, I guess they found in pieces. Yeah, in pieces, yeah. And, and they did find the they body found of one an body. individual. Yeah, They're one still but yeah, they have, one, they, I think one, they one gave still up. missing. Yeah, so just just up. as a as a update as to where we left that um, yep. you know last night. So prayers go out to uh, to the families there. That is. Uh, uh, sad. There's there's going to be a coast guard, coast guard report. We really don't know what happened to this yeah. point, but um, you know it, it's sad. So, yep, Jacinda, you're right. They found one, but they're they're still looking for the other one there. Yeah. So, uh, but um, John, like I said, we're off to a really good start. You um, know that boat was only like eight miles offshore. That's that. See, really? that just goes to show you that you 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 think you're bulletproof if if, if you're ten miles and in, you know, but you're not. Yeah. I, if if you my know? if my boat's sinking, I don't want to be a mile out. That's right. You know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, land is only yeah. ten feet away, but yeah. it's straight down. Yeah, yeah. That's not the land you want. I you can know? only reach ten foot for exactly. So long. Yeah, you're you're tall. <laughs> See, I I only have six feet yeah. to play with. You have seven feet to play with with your mouth like that. Well, I, I see our, our, our numbers were getting up there because uh, we, we started out kind of slow, but it looks like we got about 46 people watching now, and we appreciate everybody doing that. Um, we had it's a pretty a good head start. Form. Yeah, we had a pretty good head start because we had um, 67 people uh, started, you know, subscribed already before, you know, we even did the first episode. Oh, so nice. so that was that, that was really cool. So yep, that's good. we, um, you know, just really happy with how that's all coming along. And just like I said, everything's just kind of. Moving right along, John. I'm happy. You're really trying to ruin this. I <laughs> You're just trying to stop this right into his tracks, aren't you? Look. Woo woo! Knock on wood. <laughs> She's going to keep rolling, we swear. Yep. All right. So, uh, let's see. We do a thing on this show called Captain's Corner. And oh, it's where... One? 
We do. Not All only right. do we have one, John. We got one. We got two. We got two. We got two tonight. Oh, this nice. is an opportunity. Everybody that has their own boat is the yep. captain of their own vessel. So this is your point to shine. We want you to send us a video of a fishing report. Uh, you out there catching fish, 30 seconds or less, telling us what they're biting on, how they're doing. When you film, turn your film. You turn your camera sideways for us. Uh, you know, when you turn it like this, it does just line up in our uh, our border. Oh, yeah, well, Eric made a when frame. You, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants know. you in the frame. We just want you to look good. We want you to look your best. He wants you to frame. <laughs> Freeze frame. <laughs> so, uh, generally, if you're used to watching the show, you can still send everything to our Facebook location, which is uh, Shasta McNasty Fishing. Um, you can... Uh, send those there if you're new and you don't have facebook or anything you could send it to captain eric hasty at uh gmail.com and that will be let's see where do i have that at i've got that i've got that come on there we go there we go so we'll put that up right there so um if you want to send us one we're like i said we're about to give you an example of what we're talking about but we'll make you YouTube famous for all of 15, 30 seconds, you know? Wow. Yeah. And uh, and hopefully our tailors will get to learn something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Because you like our it? guys share. There we go. So, as usual, we're always going to go ladies first. Of course. Of course. Why of wouldn't we? Of course. <laughs> That's just how we do. So, we have got Jessica right here with her captain's corner. Here we go. Jessica, we're fishing at Chaskawiska Point today. New area, caught a couple of little rat reds just starting, fishing with shrimp. Have a good day, tight lines. All right, well, she there had, we go. She had it in your frame. She turned it right. She did. <laughs> Perfect example of what we're looking for. Yeah. Uh, you know, they were fishing a new area and uh, looked like and it worked out for them. And just <laughs> like that, you know, fishing the boat, John. That's right. Fishing the boat. Yep. <laughs> so good job there, Jessica. And let's take a look. Uh, we got one from Doug right here. Captain's Corner with Doug. So let's go. I think he's out in the kayak fishing in the uh, backcountry there. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right, and uh, Doug did not where's come Doug? out so well right where's there. Where, where, where's see, Doug? You had to go. Let's see if we could fix this real quick. Where did Doug go? Doug gone. <sighs> Doug, where are you? I bet we could fix this real quick. You're right there. Okay, okay, let's try it. Let's see if Doug's there now. There he is. Hey guys, this is Doug Velocic for Captain's Corner. Um, just Fishing the backcountry today has been a little bit tough. Uh, the wind is pretty bad. The tide is really high. The weather is warm. So it's been a little bit tough finding the fish. But once you find them, there's tons of them that you can catch one after another. This one's a nice 24 and a half. I'll probably take it home for dinner. The um, bait of choice that I've been using, I've been using cut ladyfish that I had caught. And I've also been using Captain's Cove shrimp uh, on a jig head. And I'm actually not fishing oyster bars today, but I'm fishing the potholes that are uh, in the back inside the reeds. And they're coming up and getting it. So I hope that uh, this helps somebody out and you all have a good one. All righty, good job there, Doug. Beautiful fish. I loved all the. Uh... <laughs> You're hitting the wrong buttons. There you go. You got it back. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Loved all that the spots nice on fish. that. Yep. And I think he said that one might have been going home for dinner. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. You know. Or little red fish. Well, you know, they got to eat. They got to eat. You got to eat. We got to eat. Doug's you know. got to eat. <laughs> Black and red fish is good to eat. For, for those in the know, John and, and myself don't keep fish on the regular when we fish for ourselves. Uh, myself as a guide, we keep fish if they want to keep fish. It's you know, not that I to... don't want to. It's that I got to clean it. Well. And you see, I just don't like cleaning fish. No. And and I like eating fish. Don't get me wrong. I do. I love eating fish. But if I'm in the restaurant and they've got a cow a pig a chicken before the fish i mean the cow probably eating any of those before yep, the fish that's right unless they we're going to do sushi that's right then those fish die now john bring it up sushi oh we got an idea mario's gonna have to be involved in he, this he he may have he's, to be he's gonna but, did he tell you 
No, no, no. no, no. I, I haven't shared this. Oh, I haven't shared this oh, with anybody. Oh, oh so, this is a good one. On this show, we occasionally um, do cooking segments. <laughs> occasionally, John. This is going to be bad. Occasionally. Oh. Uh, we want to try something different. Yeah. We've... Uh, <laughs> And Captain Marsh been involved in a lot of these, well, and he's going to uh, get drug into this well, one. He may, yeah, it, he may turn it down. But, <laughs> he might be like, no. <laughs> but John, you you and I love sushi. Yes. We, we we love tuna. We love yep. salmon. We, yep. You you love the white fish. Yeah, uh, it's not my favorite, but I mean, we we eat a lot of raw fish. Yep. We do. Uh we came up with the idea, and when I say we, I think you kind of sparked <laughs> it up, and then the ball started rolling. <laughs> We have never had inshore species sushi. Yeah. I.e. redfish, trout, yeah. Jack Crevel, yeah. you know, anything to these effects. Uh, Bonita. Ooh. 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 Papa Ooh. No. Yeah, yeah. Papa permit. No permit, you know, we, yeah. we haven't had. Yeah. So uh, we thought that that might be a very interesting take yeah. on, on one of our cooking sea shows bass, where we, we actually uh, sample different inshore yeah. species. And we'll give you. Wise. And we'll let you know what we think. The John and Eric <laughs> two thumbs up or the, oh my gosh, don't do that again, two yeah, thumbs down. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. I don't know how soon we're going to get that one out, but that's that's <laughs> going to happen. Do we have to put a disclaimer up there and John, if John goes, I don't want to eat that? Uh, we, we may have buckets. Mario will eat anything, yeah. so we'll let Mario try it first. Yeah. If Mario likes it, the dead gum, and I'm going to eat one. But if Mario goes, whoa, there go. whoa. So. <laughs> So, just ideas for new yeah. upcoming things we want to try. I, 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 yeah. I want to try it. I yeah. do want to do it. I, I just want to see. We, we that could be missing out on something fantastic. It, exactly. You know, it, and it, you don't you know until you, you know. never know. Yeah. And, and I had a friend that always said if it's got eyes as a fish, she would eat it. Yeah. She said she wanted to keep them all. I mean, mm -hmm. she's an older lady and she's, she'd tell Missy, we keeping that? And Missy's like, that, that's not legal. Well, it's got eyes <laughs> and I can cook it. Missy's like, no, no, we got to throw that back. <laughs> <laughs> they said there's no bad fish only bad cooks that's what i hear anyways all right so here we go guys redfish sashimi is amazing see that's so we don't we, know uh, until we try it so we're gonna try it me uh like we're I gonna said, do this this could be eye opening it could be could, I, you know we like i said mm, it might be yeehaw or mm, it might be oh no what have we done <laughs> yeah we might have to go buy warmer when this is done <laughs> hey i got some <laughs> you got some I got we some. might be ivermectin it when this is done oh man all right john aye, uh, aye, aye. Our, our shirts are in if you want to sport one of these weeby tailing shirts like i happen to be wearing currently uh we're all uh currently all the shirts are heather gray and they're colored in white light gray which is kind of incognito and black so the shirts look really good uh if you've uh been ordering or want one via facebook continue to send it via facebook but if not and you're watching here for the first time captain eric hasty at gmail.com send us a uh, email we will get you shirts shirts are 30 dollars a piece so they're nice very comfortable they're very nice shirts and and they look good they do and we represent well, you're, rep you're representing the local establishment right here. <laughs> Jim, threat Jim, as, Jim threatened as, me. As I think this Jim may be me. the only shirt that you have because it's in every one of your fishing right. photos. Yeah, yeah, Jim threatened me. He said, you want to you wanna be in my store, you wear this right here. I there said, okay, go. yes, sir. All right. See, I follow orders. There you go. From headquarters. <laughs> so, John, on this show, we do a little thing called the belt. Again, this is where everybody could participate for bragging rights. Um... And, and it's it's always been a little bit fun for us. We've had some fun with this. Uh, what we do is we discuss a fish for the month. You go out there, you catch that fish, you take a picture of you holding it and a picture of it on the stick so we can see how big it is. You send it to us, you let us know what the size was, all the whole nine yards in case we just can't see it well enough. And we put you out there. That's right. If you win the month, Having yeah. the longest fish, we talk about you all month. That's right. Yep. For one month, you're talked about. And and it happens to be a little bit convenient because our our, our, our reigning champion getting ready to go away was Captain Mario. That's and, a big uh, trout. And that's a 25-inch trout that uh, he won last month. He told me he was going to catch one of those. Well, that's, that's what Mario and does. Look what he did. You know, yep, yep. Now, he had some challengers, though, yep. you know. 
And then we've got this big fancy belt that you could come in right here, and he took his picture with it. Uh, this is inside Captain's Cove Outfitters here in Inglis, so that is uh, pretty cool and always a good-looking shot right there. Yep. You get to hold the belt. It has uh, weeby tailing on it with some fish and everything yep. on it. It's, it says uh, you're the world champion for it, the month. It, it's one of them wrestling belts. Yep. There you go. Wrestling. But we had a fish last month. Last month's fish was flounder. You caught some flounder. I did. I caught some flounder. Yep. But we don't count. That's right. We don't get to play. Yep. Tyler, Tyler caught some flounder. <laughs> Tyler caught a flounder. Yeah. I know he caught a couple flounder. <laughs> did he? He just didn't. He just didn't measure. I think. I think he let one go without oh, measuring. Oh, all right. Yep. Was it bigger than this one? Uh, probably. <laughs> there we go. Could be. So Tyler took it away. Current reigning champion, right here. Not only is he a current reigning champion, this is his third time winning, John. He's a three-time winner wow. on the belt. How cool is that? I, I've watched Tyler start out as just a fisherman, and now he's just a champion. No, yep, no. Yep. I, uh, I watched him grow. I watched uh, Tyler. I, I, I don't know that it was his first backcountry trip, but, you know, mm -hmm. I run him back there, one of his first backcountry trips, yep. and uh, – and put him on a couple of decent sized reds and just yep. to see his eyes, you know, and the excitement yep. and the, all that good stuff. So I'm, I'm glad to see him grow as an angler, and that's pretty cool too. Yep. Not be a one time winner, not a two time winner, but, but a, a three time, time winner. built winner right here. Tyler's that's pretty the, cool. Tyler's a champion. So congratulations, Tyler. Um, yeah, we've got a picture of you with a belt, but if you want to come take another picture, <laughs> new and improved picture, come on down. We'll get it for you. Well, you we'll know so, he will. So you'll be seeing Tyler over the course of this next month right here uh, as we discuss our new fish job. So for months, people have been wanting to do sheep's head. That's right. I think this is the month we it's do it. time. It is. So, sheep head. Uh, sheep's head are going to start making their spawn. You know, oh, they're yeah. making their way they're out. So they're kind of already at the bars, and they'll be at the bars a little bit before they push deep. Mm. And uh, I've seen a lot of people starting to catch them right now. I'm sure Mario will be throwing those on the table with the yep, trout. There you go. He don't mind a sheep's head. Yep. Dylan. But all you got to do, catch that big old sheep's head. That ain't got to be a big one. Yeah. To get on the board could even be a little That's one. That's right. You know? <laughs> yeah. So catch that sheep's head, hold it up for a picture, yeah. put them on the stick, yeah. let them go, keep them. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. Did and you, then send the pictures you know, to us. I think I know why a lot of people don't participate in this. Yeah. They're scared. Because once they long arm that fish and it goes on that <laughs> stick, then they realize that it's not so big. Surely they would never long arm the fish, John. Surely. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> so there you go. Okay. If you're following us over from Facebook, <laughs> feel free to keep sending us via it Facebook. Just hit me. Yeah. Know it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're you're new to the show, Captain Eric Hasty at gmail .com, Go ahead and send us the pictures right there, and uh, we'll have you on next week episode if uh, if that were to happen. So there we go. All right, John. We're moving right along here. I think it's time to give something away. It is. Let's give something away. So one of our sponsors that we have here at Weeby Tailing, and uh, she has given a lot of stuff to us yep. to give to you, has been Bonnie with State Farm. Amazing. Um, Bonnie is amazing. She's a very, very giving person, and uh, the, the giving doesn't stop. Yep. So uh, let's take a look right here. So that's Bonnie. Give her a call at 352-484-0905 to give uh, Bonnie a, a call to get a quote on that insurance because yep. I know for sure, up. I know for sure Woo! our tailors have saved quite a bit of money yeah. already by switching she over. She hooks our tailors up. She does. She, uh, she knows where to look. She knows what to change. She knows, you know... They, they give you almost like a consultation. Yep. You know, it's not just give me some numbers, call up. Okay, this is what we could do for you. They talk to you like That's human nice. beings. Yes. <laughs> so. Not like a robo call. Yep. But Bonnie was giving away a nice AccuSharp, you know, knife sharpener right there. The yep. kind you run the knife work, through. Work <laughs> perfectly. Yep. And this very nice Daiwa, I think this is a BG combo. Yep, BG yep, combo. Right here. Lined up, ready to go. So we're going to have... got braid uh, on it. And I mean, wow, yep. it's, it's ready to go. It is. And we're giving this away tonight. All you had to do, John, to win this was come into Captain's Cove. And take a photo. And take a picture of yourself. That's it. And you In got Captain's entered. Cove, buying something, goofing off, doing whatever the case whatever. might be. And we had several people... Uh, Join in on the fun right here. 
They look like they're all smiling and having yeah. fun, too, in Captain's Cove. Well, it's because Captain's Cove had all the That's goodies. where it's at. <laughs> That's yeah. where it's at. So there, there's, uh, there, there were all our contestants right there. Nice. And, yep. and look at the odds of winning a brand new rod and reel. There you go. Not, you, not you, too. You could have been there. I mean, what? What? What the odds of winning the lottery? One in a billion? It depends on if whether a billion people have played. Exactly. <laughs> but yet here we sit giving away a rod and reel combo, and your odds are what? One in twenty? Something. Something. Wow. Yeah. Not uh, amazing. Not wonderful, but good yep. enough. Good enough. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So we took everybody's name, and we put them in the bucket. Just like that. Just You're like in that. the bucket to win a rod and reel combo. So we're going to draw, and somebody's going to win. Let's let Mario oh. draw. Let Mario draw? Yeah. Mar Mario looks like he's about to fall asleep. That's why I'm waking fella. him up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's let Mario draw. Come over here and draw. Here we go. Get, okay. get, get, Mario's going to draw this. Here. That's Mario's hand. Yeah, he's yeah. clean. One, just pick one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't even feel him. They're in there. Right. <laughs> it's a big bucket and a, and and a, a few very names. Thin piece yep. of paper. Just, just one. Yep. Yeah, we got, got one. one. Thank there you, sir. <laughs> Dale. <laughs> Dale. There you go. Which so Dale? You. Dale, the only Dale that was in there. Okay, so that, one that's, Dale. That's Dale. Gregory. Gregory. <laughs> so, that, so Dale, yep. congratulations. Dale got him a brand new rod yep. reel. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna write that down. So. Dale, all right, Dale. Congratulations. I think Dale will enjoy that. Dale will. <laughs> I mean, what? How could you not enjoy Dale, that? Dale's you know? a fishing machine, boy. He's he gonna is, enjoy he that. Is, yep. No fish will be safe now. And we're gonna prepare the bucket now for the the, the rest of these. What you do with the others for later? You I dump dumped them? them on the floor. Oh man, <laughs> I'm not picking go. those up. Somebody's going to have to pick them up, John. I'm not going to do it. Uh-uh. There we go. <laughs> so, so there you go. Again, thank you very much, Bonnie, yep, for supplying thanks, Bonnie. that. I know you've made our tailors very happy, or at least oh, one of she them. She has made a lot of tailors <laughs> happy besides go. that one. There I ain't going to lie to you about that. And then, Mari, do me a favor. Hand me that Engel cooler right next to you right there. What you going to do with the Engel cooler? What we're going to do is Bonnie's going to give this away for our next gimmick. No way. Yeah, so it's the Bonnie, <laughs> the, 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 the Engel bait cooler Ooh, right here, wow. 19 quart. Yeah, so this wow. is uh, this is gonna be this yeah. month's prize. There Heck we go. Yeah, thank you, so, Mario. So uh, we're going back to the memes. We're gonna do oh, memes. Oh yeah, memes. Uh, you gotta we, have we memes. We love the memes. memes I just hate to, I hate to do memes on top of memes. I know. So, yeah, we took a we took a we took a break. We did. We yep. did. So we're going back but to the memes. The memes are great. What you need to do mm -hmm. is create a fishing meme. It's got to be a fishing meme. meme. Yep. Fishing, fishing meme. boating, whatever the case yep. might be, that you create. Now, if you take one somebody else has done and edit it and done something, maybe we can work with that. But we want you to be creative yep. Just and don't come steal up with meme. something. Yeah, come up with something on your own. This is make a meme. And uh, we will uh, basically we got to figure out. I don't know how we'll do that. I think we'll probably we'll probably do drawing. Well, well, I guess drawing is easier. Well, with yep. we used to do it with uh, the pictures. You'd go to the site and like the picture. Da da da. Yep. With YouTube, we can't kind of do that. So nope. Um, nope. All yep. you gotta do is 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 if you make a meme, you're gonna get entered in that bucket. There you go. Plain, plain easy. simple. This is easy, easy. peasy. So easy. you're not gonna win by attrition. You're nope. not gonna win by how many boats you get. You're gonna win by just simply making a cool meme. Send it in. And send it in because that'll give everybody a more playing, uh, a straighter playing field, yep. a, a great meme, good meme, any kind of meme. Send it in. And we'll what put it up. Prize. We'll put it up and we will share it. What a prize. Look at that. <laughs> Mario's already got a meme. He's already he's he, he, fixing I mean, it. He's, he, he, he loves the memes. He loves the memes. <laughs> Mario loves the memes. There we go. All so right. Have at it. Make Oop. a meme. Moving right along, we're getting we're getting we're getting down to the nitty gritty right, right here. Yep. So Sharon Wynn, um, Sharon Wynn will be a new concept for us here on YouTube as to whether or not Sharon Wynn actually works because with Facebook, you would share it. I could see it in my analytics that you shared. We'd put your name in a hat and we would draw. If um, How does this if work? YouTube works, it has a share button. It does. If I'm able to see that you shared. We'll be able to continue that trend. Well, how about all we got to do is is write in the comments right there, "Hey, I'm Tina and I shared it." Well, maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll see but if it works first. No. Yeah. Yeah. If if it doesn't work, yeah, then we'll it's we'll, we'll come up with something else. Yeah. Red so, Rover. Red again, Rover. Again, learning curve. Be oh, yeah. patient. You know, we we weren't 
really great on Facebook for a good, at least 10, 11 episodes. And even then, we still had technical difficulties. <laughs> Man, to go back and watch some of those old ones. Wow. Oh, you, you can. You can wow. go to the Shasta McNasty Fishing page yep. on Facebook wow. and watch all of them. They're, they're all there. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah, they're oh, all, boy. They're all there. I it's mean, changed. It's it has. It's changed. It, it's been growing. We've grown. We we have. It, it, we've we've grown. We've gotten fatter. Oh man. <laughs> so, so John, um, all you had to do was share the episodes. Uh, and, and that's it. And we put your name in a hat. Yep. And I think right now we're gonna draw for the Stacy and Jeanette photography. She makes uh, beautiful photographs, framed, all that good stuff. Uh, we were just giving them out willy-nilly, but we've changed it to the point now where you we put you in contact with Stacy, yep. and then you get to pick a theme that you like, whether based off of what she already has, or she'll go take that picture for you. So, oh, wow. uh, so that's pretty cool. Nice. So, so if somebody in Canada wins, Stacy has to fly to Canada, take a picture, give it to them, and then they got your picture? If they pay for the flight and all that. she was Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> Stacy done bolted off the cannon to go take the photo. Yep. As, as YouTube is much more broad, you know, we That's may have right. to change what how we, we do this. Do that? Yeah, yeah. Stacy's in another state again. All right, John. So uh, if you shared last month That's any right. of those episodes, you're your name win. is in the bucket. You're going to so win. John, go right. ahead. And you are picking a picture supplied by Stacy and Jeanette Photography. Well, look at there. Do we know this person? Well, so the last name rings bells. Yep. Because I don't know if that's part of the Hampton clan or not. Okay. But, Gypsine, maybe? Is that how you say Gip it? Gypsine Hampton. There you go. You are so the winner of a photographer. Yeah. <laughs> Be pictured by <laughs> Stacy and Jeanette Photography. There we go. So, photo. We just want to do that yep. and keep track. So just in case uh, we didn't say that right. Yep, there it is. You want to see that. Whoop, there it is. Hoot, there she blows. <laughs> there we go. So congratulations for that. But, John, wait. There's, there's more. more. Like there's said, always more. Lots to give away tonight. Yep. We don't normally give away this much stuff, but the first episode of the month is always heavy on the giveaways. From our sponsor, Native Nautical Mailboxes. We've already given away one of these fine seahorse right here. Yeah, these, uh, this, this was the second one, and one's amazing. That came. This thing is metal. It's solid, heavy, and this thing is gorgeous. When I tell you this thing is gorgeous, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it goes with just about the color goes with just about any decor that you have in your house. Too, you can so. hang this in your yeah. home. You can hang it on your. You home. need to find a stud because you can it is hang heavy. It on the tiki bar, I mean, Drywall this thing's gonna look good. Work. Yep. So, so John. All you had to do was share. That's it. Easiest thing you it's could do on the show so to win anything. So easy. So easy. All right, John. Who's going to win the seahorse? Oh, you're making me do them all. Well, I got to hold the bucket. I am so glad that I let Mario draw one because I'd have been the bad guy for... <laughs> Just one? Yeah. There we go. Wow. Okay, so this is an easier name. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Thompson. Andrew Thompson. So Congratulations. Him. Andrew Thompson. Go, you so. are the winner of a seahorse. <laughs> and Let's hope Drew. Andrew Thompson likes seahorses. <laughs> seahorse. All right, there we go. Just trying to keep track of all this good stuff. So, wow, there we go. Three big prizes already given away tonight. Boom! And there'll be more. If That's you've been right. paying attention to the show, yeah. we ask a question at the There's end of the show more. where everybody will be How able we to. do that? So, I'll explain it when we oh, get there. Oh, boy. It's, it's going to be easy. Easy peasy. Easy, 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 easy peasy. Easy. There we go. And again, big shout out to uh, Native Nautical Mailboxes for uh, yeah, giving beautiful. that out right there. Uh, give them a call, 941-268-1471. custom stuff. They got all kinds of cool stuff. They, they do. They've got, uh, let's take a look, John, at some of the stuff that they've got. They've got uh, they got all the cool mailboxes and all that good stuff. So, I mean, they, stuff. they've got this cool stuff. They do the manatee things, all that good stuff. I mean, they just, they got some goods. They got some goods. So, big shout out to them, and thank you for uh, being a sponsor of the show. Let's talk about some fishing, John. Oh, yeah, that's what we're here you, for. You did a lot of fishing over the weekend. I did. I, I, I think went, you took every miserable day in that holiday. I, 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 <laughs> I took fishing. every day, no matter how hard the wind was blowing, no matter how bad the, <laughs> rent, the rain was raining. Yep. I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning for three straight days and 6 o'clock in the morning on the fourth day. You did? I did. <sighs> I didn't. <laughs> I, 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 was, I went fishing two of those holidays. I'm not going to lie to you. I was tired. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would imagine. I would imagine. Well, let's take a look at your Thursday but there, what John. A, what a blast. Yep. There we go. 
So Thursday, you went out with one of our tailors there. Yep, the three-time winner champion. Yep, there you go. Imagine that. <laughs> I wanted to put him on his first permit. There yep. it is. Well, there you go. I think that was his second permit. Maybe. Oh, I thought we were both going to have no, stories first. at first. First or second. I, I love first. I think, I don't know. We love He'll let first. us know. He'll let us know. <laughs> I, I don't know if he got one last year when he was there or if he if that's his first. I don't. I can't yep. remember. So it looked like you got on some redfish kind of in yep. the back, and then you kind of went out a little bit to go play with the, yep. the permit. And Yeah, he yep. woke me up. He's like, hey, you want to go? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there we go well thursday i, I got a um i got a trip from a, a fella named brian and brian could almost be i wouldn't say my mini me but maybe my doppelganger right there you and, have a uh, doppelganger i guess oh you know? boy oh boy <laughs> and, is that due to height or due to beard uh, yeah no well, or due beard, to bald beard and you know i don't know we we resemble huh? we just All resemble just yeah, resemble just each resemble, other how you know? nice is that but you could see him occasionally on the tampa bay fish channel on youtube uh he he appears on there i guess regularly uh he was telling me but uh we uh we had fun we oh, went nice. out grouper fishing john mm -hmm. and um thursday was not the day to be out there grouper fishing thursday wasn't the day it to be doing his it wasn't the day to be doing much of any kind of fishing but yet we go <laughs> but, but we did john we 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 got out there yet we go and uh and we did get on some grouper and uh and 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 that's Sabrina right there. That's Brian's uh, your wife. And 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 this was funny because um, we started trolling, and we weren't trolling two or three minutes. And she's like, "I'm on," and she's on. No enthusiasm, but she's on. Yep. <laughs> you know, she reels in it. I'm on. She goes, uh, gets the first that first fish in. You know where she's all bundled up and it's still foggy and wavy yeah. out there. And uh, we're like, okay, you know, <laughs> love the enthusiasm. Yeah. You know, yeah. but you know, she she got it. Uh, keep her gag. Um, gives the rod to Richard, the other fella in the boat. There was three of them. Yeah. We troll for a little while now. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. We do. I think Richard hit the bottom or something. We slowed down so he could get cleared. And as we're slowed down, Brian's pole, <laughs> it just goes to town. It's running like a bat out of hell. I'm like, oh, there is that uh, kingfish, you know, because we do get kingfish in this area in the wintertime. Or, well, this month anyway, or past month before they head really far south. So I'm like, there he is. That's it. This fish ran and ran and ran. We turned the boat. We're chasing this fish, just like a kingfish. Well... That kingfish decided to rock himself after 300 yards. <laughs> kingfish that's, don't do that, job. That's not a kingfish. <laughs> so he rocked himself, and we, in the bad weather, the waves, the wind, the fog, we circled around that rock the best we could, you know, playing the banjo on it, doing all kinds of things, trying to get that fish. I think the fish came out two or three separate times before that leader finally broke. Now, wow. Not knowing Brian extremely well, you know, he said that was just par for the course. That's normally what happens to him. They call it getting brian or something to that effect. So. Wow, they've got their own <laughs> name for it, huh? <laughs> but, oh, uh, boy. Yeah, so we, we continue to troll for quite a while, and, and, and it's Richard and Brian trolling, and there's just nothing going on, nothing going on. Uh, Richard gives the, full, uh, the, the poll back to uh, Sabrina. She doesn't have it in her hand a minute. She's on again. <laughs> so, man, wait. she didn't fish but five minutes on this trip, had the two keeper yep. grouper in the boat, and <laughs> she's like, I, I don't get it. I, you how, know, how does that happen? <laughs> I mean, when it's your day, it's your day, and the uh, other guys are uh, like, Yeah, no. I come, I eat do a lot. Uh huh. <laughs> so, that was a fun day. I enjoy, yeah. I mean, it, it was crappy weather. The conditions weren't right for being out there, but they really wanted to play with grouper, and, and we did. But, yeah. uh, but then, John, you went out on Friday, and uh, that looks like one of them little trip tails there. Yes. That's not too shabby. Well, that was at the end of the day. I had thrown all our bait in the water. We're driving off, and I see this one little piece uh -huh. of cardboard floating. Uh -huh. And I'm looking, and I'm like, there's like 10 triple tail under this stupid one little piece of cardboard. They were decent size. I'm like, uh, he goes, where's the bait? I said, uh, I threw it all in. I said, you got any gulp? He's like, yeah, I got a gulp. I took that gulp and I whipped it out there and I reeled it past that box one time real fast and I threw it back out there again and all 10 of those triple tail went for that gulp. All 10 of them. <laughs> Why? I mean, like, I should have filmed it. No. They all took off, came out of the water like redfish, and I got one. Crazy. And then he threw in there and got one. And his came off and was sitting there in the water following the boat waiting for his buddy to me to throw his buddy back in. No. Well, he was like, if that fish is 18 <laughs> inches, we're keeping it. 
Yeah. I'm looking. I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, this fish is gonna be 18 inches. So I put him on the board and I'm like, uh-huh. oh, 17 <laughs> inches. He's short. I threw him back. <laughs> and that other fish, they swam back to the. Yeah. But it was sad because. Her- that fish was looking at me like, are you going to throw my wife or my boyfriend or my girlfriend back in the water, please? Please, please. You can see the fish like with both fins like this looking at me like, is he going to die or are you going to let him go? And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, quarter inch short. <laughs> so, so per our that episode. That got me in trouble right there. there. Oops. <laughs> per that episode last week, John, yes. were you holding a permit or a pompano? Permit. Are you sure about that? You're positive. Really? Positive. Where are you now? Yes. Oh, that was a jack. <laughs> oh, that's a jack. That's, I don't like that. No, I don't like that one. Oh, that's our sushi. Hey, hey, that's going to be the it, sushi. It, it, it probably it will. Since how you played trick like that, guess who uh, gets to try it first? Well, here, here's the thing, John. Uh-huh. Uh, we're we're going to have to do this on what's readily available at the time. Exactly. So, I mean, if that's what we're catching at yep. the time, that's what, you know, because yep. we're going to have to eat it fresh. Oh, yeah. Know? It's going to be, there's going to be <laughs> trout. We're going to have worms. It's going to be good stuff. Nice. Then you went out Saturday, John, uh, and we're, we're going to keep this brief because we got to get Mario on gotcha. here. Yep. Yep. But uh, you got some fish right there. You got an interesting species down in the bottom. I couldn't quite figure that's that one out. That's a catfish. Yeah, is it? Okay. Yep. Catfish. Yeah. One of those spotted catfish. That's a spotted I, I had not catfish. seen yep. one of those that's before. A, to very tame. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. No, that one doesn't have any. It's got claws. There you go. It doesn't have the spikes. <laughs> that one's got claws. <laughs> And then you were out on Sunday. Looked like uh, we were talking about trout. Looked like you had some nice yes, trout there. Yes, were nice trout. A nice Very little nice redfish to, to yep. mix it up right there. So, yep. Good uh, days. I mean, yep. we caught some fish. I put, I put some fish in the boat. The new year has started off quite well. Good for you. Good deal. Good deal. All right, John. So, yeah, the, the doors were left open today, so we got the bugs flying All right. right here. But, uh, we got bugs. Let's see where we're at. Let's get into this spotted by here real quick. Like I said, we want to get Mario, get Mario out on here. So about we, trout. We, we spotted Denise right there nice with trout. a nice little trout. And and just to give you an example of what the weather looked like this weekend, you know, that's she she's in it. It's not too nice. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that weather was crappy. One of these days had to be yeah. all right because Katie was uh, got a nice little yeah, that looks a little right better there. there. Nice, nice sunny in the picture. That or she photoshopped yeah. the sun in there. <laughs> then we spotted old Bobby That's right there. Nice Bo- Bobby right was there. taking taking advantage of the last bit of grouper season right there. So uh, good on you there, Bobby, with a nice uh, nice grouper right there. So, so John, we have pushed through. We've gone through. Let's see if we got any comments here just real quick. I uh, hear they mate for life. Hmm, there we go. See, cool. so glad to throw it back. <laughs> Tyler said it was his first permit. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, excellent. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, Doug says he's got three pictures of Stacy's work. She's awesome. All right, nice. Cool. Yeah, all right, good deal. All righty, John, let's make this happen. Without further ado. Yeah, let's bring in Z Mario. Let's see here. There we go. All right, come on. All righty, here he is, old Captain Mario. Thanks for coming on the show, buddy. Anytime. Appreciate it. I know Anytime. you're a fan favorite. You've been on here kind of like where Tyler's won three times. I think you've been on here four or five, a couple, six yeah, times. Yep. Maybe. I stopped counting. I only have ten fingers. <laughs> so um, you're a captain locally here uh, mm-hmm. at a plantation on the yep. Crystal River. Uh, you do trout fishing, snook fishing, red fishing. Basically, if it's Everything inshore, inshore yeah. yeah, you're you're gonna get it. Um, occasionally you'll do a little inshore grouper trip though that's not your favorite yeah i try not to yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> not so, my forte yeah, yeah yeah so uh so very well-rounded inshore um would you say that you've got the knack for catching these trout oh i don't know about all that i just <laughs> it it was a necessity for me as a yeah. as a guide here in uh in the crystal river area sure. uh that's one of our bread and butter species of course uh uh, Lindsay and I run Tall Tales Charters. She's been helping me. She's she's my first mate, and also she's my fiance. And we're kind of building this thing together. And yeah, it, it you heard through. it here first. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. boom, yeah. I put a ring on it. So, yeah. uh, oh, so we, uh, whoa! But we uh, yeah, we do a lot of trout fishing this time of year. Usually in November is when we kick it off really well. Yeah. 
Uh, it goes through December and January also. Uh, if the weather's a little bit cooler in, the, in February, we have it in February also. That's when they spawn. It's when the majority of the trout spawn. They, they actually kind of spawn year around here. But, um, but we do a, a, we go all the way up into about April, and I, I kind of slow down on the trout since March and April, the snook are more, well, they're open season, so, and, they're, and, they're, and they're really easy to catch in, in the springtime, so I, I kind of take the focus off the trout. Sure, yeah. sure. So yeah. there's several good months, trout availability. Yeah. Uh, we're in the heat of it right yeah, now, right if now you is, will. Right now is hot, the hot time, yes. Uh, speaking of heat, how does that temperature affect what these trout are doing? Uh, well, I'll, here, I don't know, the past couple of weeks, it's been fairly warm. I mean, fairly yeah. mild, other than a couple of days ago, it got pretty darn cold. <laughs> and and um, we, what we've been doing is, is when, it, when it's warmer, I've been fishing the, uh, the backcountry flats, and it's been working really well. Um, just fishing potholes, uh, any high spots, sandy areas and stuff like that, because trout like to live around the grass. Anywhere you have kelp grass, sure, pretty much. If sure. you find kelp grass it's more than likely you're going to find trout but uh we've been fishing that in the in the warmer months and uh as it cools down they they kind of move out into a little bit deeper water uh around some of your deeper channels and stuff like that uh they go to more towards rock shorelines and and oyster bars and stuff like that the deep cuts uh just tr for thermal refuge basically right. and um and we catch them like that and deeper on on the jigs almost the same way but um but when they're deeper i like to i like to use bait in the shallows, I use soft plastics. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, I, I would have thought that um, bait is king, but I guess sometimes uh, bait's not always uh, great. And it's not fantastic. <laughs> I mean, but uh, but when it's colder, you don't have as yeah. many pinfish too. So that that's a that's a big well, thing that, oh, yeah, to yeah. steal your bait. Less bait yeah. yeah. So you can use you can use shrimp, you can use pinfish and stuff uh, when it gets cooler, but uh, in the warmer months, like I said. Mm, yeah. well, shrimp's not the way to go. Yeah, I, I, I know on those outer bars and everything, the uh, the puffers and everything are really yeah, abusing yeah, yeah. the bait. But I mean, they're even abusing, and, and not to get excited about it, but this is one of the uh, the well known favorites, and I know that you like that. If you want to talk about those, though, they'll um, they'll eat the hell out of that. You'll have perfect little triangles taken out. Oh yeah, <laughs> those. this this is actually uh, I've been using this probably about ninety percent of the time catching my trout here lately. Because, uh, like I said, it's been fairly warm. Even even today, it was uh, it was pretty cool. The water temperatures in the in the mid 60s today, and that bait right there worked really good on the on just a chartreuse jig head. I mean, you can use just about any kind of jig head. This just happens to be the one I use all the time. It it, it holds these plastics on really well. But yeah. all we're doing is just working potholes yeah. and um, just throwing you know, just throwing it out in the potholes, let it sink, and giving a couple of twitches and let it sink again. Now what happens is these trout, uh, that bait right there in particular. They'll hit it on the fall when it when it starts to fall. After you jerk it two or three times and let it fall, you'll feel just that one little tick. Mm -hmm. And I tell people as soon as you feel the tick, you got to set the hook because they're going to grab a hold of that thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, even in the shallows, are you using the jig head? Or I know a lot of people like to uh, you know just use a, a bait hook and go through the nose. Right. Uh, see that that kind of all depends on who I have on the boat. Uh -huh. If they're avid fishermen and they're used to working just say a topwater bait it's it works very similar to a topwater bait when you hook this one in the nose with a uh, what i use everyone uses like a three aught j hook i use a four aught circle hook even for the trout really and it works okay. really well huh. um what happens is them trout grab a hold when, when a trout grabs a hold of a bait it'll it'll grab a hold of his mouth and it'll turn sideways and swim off Hooks and, itself. and it just it works really well with a wow. circle hook and nice. you wouldn't think that a, a trout in a circle hook would would work really well because they, they have this real paper thin mouth sure sure but it works fantastic well i i will tell you that's that's the first i've heard of the circle hook being used in that you know because right. i do use the the bait hook in the nose right. and i do use the jig head uh, right but that uh circle hook there you go Yep. Tips you, on Weeby too. Yep. <laughs> you just, just got to know yeah. how to work a topwater bait, and you work it just like a topwater sure. in the shallow stuff. If it, we'll just say if it's less than 18 inches deep. Okay. I'll use that because it, it it's got a super slow sink rate when you have a a, a small hook attached to the front of the thing, uh, and they do also they hook, they'll hit it on the fall. You just work it like a topwater bait and let it let it fall very slowly, and they'll they'll hit it right before it hits the bottom. Cool. There you go. Yeah. All right, so we will take questions for Mario if uh, you want to put them in the comments right there. Um, you know, we'll try to 
see what happens as uh, as the <clears throat> evening progresses right here. But uh, so trout. Do you do, you know, John had mentioned earlier the sheep's head, you know, when, mm-hmm. when, when you're looking for fish this time of year, mainly it's trout, but mm-hmm. are you still looking for reds or do oh, you? Yeah. yeah. This has been probably the, the best 18 months of red fishing that I've ever seen. Wow. We've had, I, it's just, been, it's been incredible. Yeah. I, I don't, I know you guys have seen it too, yeah. but, <laughs> but uh, usually by the time November rolls around December, I kind of leave it to the backcountry guys that catch most of these uh most of these redfish but yeah. they're we're still in a summertime pattern for these guys I, I don't know if it's because there's so many of them out there but i just don't think it's been cold enough long enough yet to, right. uh, to get the water to, to where it yeah. stays yeah even, yeah. even yeah. when the water did it dipped down into the low 60s for a little while they were still wow. eating on that on those outside islands which is yeah. I, I find insane. it yeah usually you'll find one or two of them on the outside islands but they're still schooled up yeah. mario said hey john come here yeah, yeah, I, did. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I watched Mario do it. Yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you this: sure. uh, This is your main go-to. Do you ever do? Everybody wants to fish the popping corks and jig under a popping cork. Do you do that? Uh, if it's like later spring, April, May, June, uh, the popping corks out in open water, five, six, seven feet of water, yeah. works great. But like I said, at that time, I'm not. I just kind of stop trout fishing yeah. unless I have to. I have sure. a handful of customers that that's all they want to do. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I kind of grin and bear it, and, and we'll go out there, and yep, we'll use the we'll use the popping corks, and sometimes we'll use that Berkeley Gulp works really good under a cork. Um, sometimes we'll out in that deeper water if they're if they're not coming up to the surface to hit them, uh, we'll use a Berkeley Gulp uh, under a Carolina like a bass rig, a Carolina rig, mm-hmm. or you can do it on a jig head, but the jig heads get snagged up a lot. Sure. But if you we use just a regular Carolina weight and about a foot and a half a liter behind that Carolina weight and just drag it behind the boat. It's super simple, but I, I try not to do it in the summertime, you know, because they're out in deeper water and you have to drift for miles. And, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, it's, I'd rather I'd rather put out a, a campfire sure. with my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, good deal. Well, congratulations! Like I said, it sounds like you got some interesting things going on. Mm-hmm. Big, big announcement on the show. I, it's the first I've heard of uh, the engagement. So yep. congratulations on that. It was Christmas time. Yeah. Oh, what the, nice. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Oh man, uh, let's see. We've got a. That's my go-to on there. So that's the always thing when you're talking to a bunch of fishermen on there. That you know, we've, uh, you know, you don't necessarily get uh, get a case. So what do we got? We got a. My go-to is the electric chicken. So I imagine yes. uh, electric chicken. That, that's well. going to be talking yeah, about the little that's... mirror, um, the little, um, you know what it is? Not the Miradine, the the little John, the little John, the little John. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I imagine that's what that he's works. Talking yeah, about. Yeah. well, it's any just about any every soft plastic company makes an electric chicken, yeah. nuclear chicken, whatever. It's like pink and green, sure, and it's pretty bright. But um, you can use those also for uh, for any of the uh, the trout. Um, I like to use those more where the water is darker. Like we'll just say. We'll just say the Yankee Town area, Wakasasa, Cedar Key works great in Cedar Key. Yeah. Uh, I do fish Cedar Key probably four or five, six times a year, and that's my go-to color up there. And it's usually a, either a Berkeley Gulp yeah. or uh, they wouldn't make a, a saltwater assassin makes one also in the in the same color, and they have a paddle tail. But either one of those work really well. But um, but I'm primarily trout fishing down towards Ozello and and North Ohio Assassin. Yeah. So. This this DOA mm-hmm. this, this is the five and a half inch. They make this in different sizes. I guess smaller. They make a four inch also. Yeah. Yes. Do you do you prefer one over the other? I or like that one better yeah. because it's got a little bit more weight. Okay. Um, you can throw it a country mile. Sure. Uh, the the smaller ones you can work okay. You can use them with lighter jig heads if you'd like. But this one I like this because I can use it with the with the J or the circle hook in the nose, or I can use it on the jig head. And with that that four inch one's a little bit too small to work on the J hook or on the circle hook. Sure. But this one works on both. So, and I, I just take as little tackle as I possibly can. You know, I, I know it works and, and, and yeah, it seems, <laughs> yeah, and actually uh, the other day, actually Captain Dave Houston showed me a little trick. He says, when they're on the jig heads like this and they fall off, you know, cause you've been setting the hook and stuff like that. He showed, he said, why don't you just pin that thing in the nose, just like you would a J hook or a circle hook and work the jig like you would normally work a jig. I said, that that's not going to work at all. <laughs> I first throw out there, we got an 18 incher. I said, I'll be darned because yeah, I couldn't put the jig on it anymore because it would slide yeah, off of the yeah. jig. So I just pinned it like I would a, a J hook or a circle hook and it worked just the same. So I can use them 
twice over because these are go. these are almost six dollars a pack. They are. I believe they're going up in price. So I, I've heard twenty percent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, everything yeah. is going up so, now. So we we kind of get you can you can use it almost twice. Yeah. And uh, we did actually we did that today and we caught a couple of extras. I only had one bag left. No. So and, wow. and, and we used them all. You can find these at Captain's Cove Outfitters yep. here in yeah. downtown, beautiful downtown at still England. Old price. <laughs> <laughs> Until they're gone, get them yeah. while they're hot. Definitely. Oh wow, there we go. All right, well Mario, we sure do appreciate you coming on, yeah, being man. being another one of the first, being a first on the uh, the YouTube episode, yeah. of, you know here. So we appreciate that. So are you going to uh, be in with us for the sushi tasting? I think I might. I yeah. See, All I right. That, yeah. Yeah. Because I, I knew he wouldn't turn down sushi. I think we got. Yep. We need to add something a little bit to that. Let's Inst do it. Instead of one of you guys cutting up the sushi and stuff, I think we need to get a pro. We need to get somebody that knows what they're doing. I would love to have somebody <laughs> who's a do, pro. Do we, do we know, know this somebody? person? I might know a few. I, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I didn't know I if you were volunteering. Have somebody that yeah. would do it because. <laughs> There's a special way of cutting that fish, yes, there's yeah, no yeah. doubt. And there's special utensils that are very yep. expensive Yes, uh, to um, actually do it right. Oh, yeah. And there's a we would love to have There that. is a difference in the taste when you when you, uh, when you cut when you, it right. Yes. Yes. If you, I mean, you, you can, know the, the line. Yes. We, we want the best possible meat. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> we, we don't necessarily want to use that bucket. <laughs> but we, we definitely, yeah, we definitely want to try this because yeah. I don't know how much this has been done. Yeah. So I would really like to learn, you know, I mean, I've already had texts from people already saying that this fish is great. This fish is great. So this is going to be something that we're going to enjoy. Yeah. I've had it from from the local local fish that are over here. And mm -hmm. my two favorites are redfish and pompano. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. Really? Interesting. Yeah. See, that's something you I would have never careful. guessed. You got to be careful with the redfish, though. Yep. But, but the pompano all day long. But the redfish, you, you really have to know what you're doing when you're cutting them up. Yep. Interesting. Interesting. Very Good nice. call. Yep. Good yeah. call. Yeah. See? All right. So, like I said, future We're episodes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. We've got to come up with some stuff. So, Mario, you want to hang out with us, get some stuff away? Yeah, why not? All sure. right. Cool deal. So, uh, John? We're to the part of the show where it's our last thing to give away on today. We've given away so much today already. Yep. But uh, at the end of every show, we always uh, ask a question, and that question uh, will win you this prize here tonight. So you're going to get some of the new Jim Jigs v -locks. Um I've been using them. They're amazing. Um, I have actually hooked trout, thrown them in the boat in midair without a net, and they stayed on the hook. No. So if you can do that, with and, and ladyfish also. <laughs> because a lot of ladyfish come off and people want to use them for bait. Sure. And they jump and they come off. Ah, uh, no. Not on that one. Not on that hook, they don't. Like I said, we're going to so, have a full yeah, review on that. We're getting a full soon. review. Yeah. So so we're going to give you some DOAs because that's Mario's favorite bait. This is another trout bait that works really well in the shallows up towards Cedar Key and in the flats. Another one that works really well because this is a trout episode. And then, of course, we're going to give you some of our super shrimp from our friends at Aquatic Nutrition. Aquatic Nutrition. All right. Boom, yeah. Man. So let me get on the right page Give here. them an easy question. Well, it, it, if they paid attention, this will be easy. It's simple. Yep. Let's see here. All right. Sashimi flounder. Now, that, that's that got to be light and flaky. I yes. bet that's probably very good. But uh, we'll have to get Tyler to catch us a keeper, yeah. <laughs> because that seemed to be a hard, hard go around here. <laughs> so, I want to do some sushi flounder. There you go. Mm. All right, so John, what we're going to do is we're going to ask tonight's question like we always have. In the past, we've always looked to see who answered first, and we end the episode, we go back, look at the timestamp, blah, 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 blah. We can't do that now, because there's no way to post after the fact. Oh, okay. We are going to ask the question, the people that answer it, the first five that I just happen to see come up because I don't know how this is going to work yet. So the first people that get the right answer and I see it pop up, we're going to write their name on a piece of paper, cut them up and do a drawing. Oh, okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy so peasy. Does everybody understand? Yeah. You know, One, two, three, four, five. Hit that like button really if you understand. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> 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 Squashed. <laughs> there you go. All right. So again. We're going to take the first right, the first five right answers that we see pop up on the screen right here. Uh, we're going to put your name in the bucket. We're going to cut it up, and you'll win tonight's prize. There you go. Tonight's question. All right. Michelle says yes. Everybody understands. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mentioned a couple of numbers tonight. If you take the number of episodes we did on Facebook and add that to the number of subscribers we had at the beginning of the show... I mentioned both those numbers. Add them together. That's your question. I need the total of our number of episodes we did on Facebook 
and the total number of subscribers at the beginning of the show easy, added together. Easy. So this should be, uh, oh, and here they come. All right. I got to get ready to write. <laughs> I didn't know math was involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thought we were out of school. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we got these guys got to pay attention. Look at that. Jessica was really, really close. Let's see. Still looking on the right answer right here. Still looking. John, I thought this was going to be easy, John. <laughs> Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> it's not the smell, it's the green fog. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and it lingers. Yeah. There we go. Come on. Oh, there we go. I see one. Rogers in there. I can't see it. <laughs> I can't <laughs> see. All okay. right. So Roger is in the running. Oh, Casey Bass is in the running. Oh, there's another one. Tyler Jacobs is in the running. Bill Riz is in the running. <laughs> I need one more. Need one more. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. And Chris Gabner. All right. <laughs> My horrible handwriting, <laughs> especially <laughs> We're when you know are in a race. When especially we'll when know you know who it is. All right, uh -oh, so he's got scissors. Yep, <laughs> I, uh, step back, sharp <laughs> objects. <laughs> I can't believe they're letting him play with those again. Yeah, yeah. he's doing it right-handed yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, danger. Yeah, yeah, I am danger. a lefty. <laughs> Mario's ducking like he would on yeah. the boat with somebody throwing lures. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Scissor, Yikes. Scissors don't work in your left hand if you're left-handed. It's, it's right. just weird. It's, 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 and they don't cut. Yeah. Isn't so, that odd? All right. Left so here we go. Yeah. One, yeah. Left hand two, scissors work, but yeah. three, four, five. Five people in the row. All righty. Where's our bucket? Dump all these other names out of the bucket. <laughs> I have a big old mess over there. All right, John. One, two, three, four, five. Here. <laughs> <laughs> John, draw us a name. Oh buddy. my gosh. And the winner is. There we go. Tonight's winner, Bill Ritz. Ritz. The Riz. Bill Riz. Bill Riz. Congratulations. You're the winner. <laughs> nice yeah. little prize yeah, pack. It is. It, my, my left handed chicken scratch and everything going right there. So, uh, <laughs> guys, once again, we sure do appreciate you checking us on YouTube. This was our first one. Sweet. Um, if you liked it, subscribe, hit that notification, hit the like, hit all them things on there. Why not? Don't forget to share it because you want to be part of sharing. Right. And we got to find out if that's going to work for us. We'll so, see. John, we did it without too much of a, there a was hassle. no hitches. It, yeah, it was not, it was not bad. So no hitches. All right. Well, until next Wednesday. Oh, I will add that, um, we're going to do snippets if you will. So we'll take this live program. And then we'll snip it up, and we'll probably just have the part of us talking to Mario just in a normal YouTube video tomorrow on the same page. So if you just wanted to learn how to catch trout and you didn't want to deal with all the other headache, um, tune in in the next couple of days to see that. So oh. it'll just be a video of Mario talking about trout. Go so, there cool. There we go. <laughs> Heck yeah. So there we go. All right, John, so let's get down to it. Uh, where are we at? Bam. All right. We be tailing, brought to you by Shasty McNasty Fishing, Captain Cove Outfitters, <laughs> Naughty Tails, Jim's Jigson, Fillets All Blades, Aquatic Nutrition, <laughs> Tailing Toes, Flash Lights, Carrie's Custom Rods, and Bonnie from State Farm. There you go, the Caddy Can. And our friends from Native Nautical Mailboxes. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. We'll see everybody next week. Peace out. See you.